Do you remember who you told me, or uh, you messaged me and said, do you know who they should bring back? And do you remember who you said? I said uh, Damien Sandow. You did indeed. Damien Sandow, to me, very, very talented. And he's funny, can talk. He's the one you can put in any role and just have him study it, and he'll make it work. I mean, he can't, a writer couldn't tell him how to do it, but he could get, and what he does, I don't, I, I know him pretty well. He gets into the character, but there's a little bit of Damien in there too. So, <laughs> and he makes it work. Damien Sandow is, you know, when he was the Miz's double, mm -hmm. it was hilarious. It didn't make a damn bit of sense. But you could see what he was trying to do instead of the sensibility of what he was doing overca overcame, I mean, what he was doing overcame the sensibility of it because it was stupid. But it was De Sandow, so he could do that stuff. But they should bring him back because they could put so many, do, do so many things with him. I think a talk show with him would be great because he'd be, he's good at it. He's actually funny. He's an actor too. So uh, I, I don't think they can miss with Sandow. It's, it's funny that you mentioned right at the beginning, he can do anything. Now I'm going to coin a phrase here, utility player syndrome, somebody talented enough to do anything. It, almost like a Lance Storm who can turn his hand to, maybe not comedy, but, you know, uh, who can do anything in the ring, can wrestle with anyone. And then you sort of get pegged as that person who could, the piece who could fit anywhere on the board rather than someone who may be more limited and they sort of channeled more directly, if uh, if I've made sense there. So what, what is, he's a utility player and a, yeah, very, yeah. And, and a very good one too. Exactly, but he's too talented in too many different roles, so he gets moved from role to role to role, uh, well, if you know what I'm saying. Well, if you had to somebody to produce him and kind of – that's not on him. That's on creative because you can't take a character that could get over in a certain role and all of a sudden shoot him to something else, then shoot him to something else, then shoot him to something else. Now he just becomes, you know, just a manifestation of all those things you put together, which none of them really clicked. I mean, to the extent that it could have, because they got rid of it too soon. That's not on. That's not on the uh, the talent. That's on the creative. But if they give him something and let him help uh, create it, it'll be something to remember. And I think to get something over, you can't change it every three months. You got to go at least six to nine months with it, and then slowly move him to something else or put him in a different role and let him take that way. I think. If I was on creative, I say, Sandow, this is what this is what I want to do with you. And I said, I want you to take it, go home with it. I want you to marry it for the next two weeks. And I want you to come back and tell me what you think. And he would come back with something that, I mean, that would surprise them. Now, a lot of this stuff, because he is so creative, he's he's maybe over over the over the horizon a little bit. But just pull it back some, and there's something you can use. But I would be, I would be thrilled if, and I think Triple H likes him. I, I think if uh, Triple H or uh, WWE brings him back, Triple H will like that guy because mm. he already likes him anyway. Absolutely. I don't know why they got rid. I don't know why they got rid of him. The creative had nothing for him. Uh, that's probably the excuse they give everybody, isn't it? Oh, oh, that's a cue. We have nothing for you. I said, well, God, won't you goddamn think a little bit? But then they get mad at you because then you call them a bunch of morons, which is basically not what they are, but it's, it's they're lazy. They are lazy. See, if you sit around the table with six people, eight people, and it's hard to be energetic and try to give them this idea that you know will work. But if the third guy, I, I don't know this, that, and you get this, you get the naysayers on down the line. Well, I, you know, we got to do this and this, and this. I don't hear that. I, I told a creative team one time, I said, I don't want to hear reasons why it won't work. And I said, I don't, I want to hear one reason it will work. That's what I want you to come up with right now. 
And they, they'd never heard that before. So they come up with something that would, would work. I said, don't overthink it. Don't overdo it. Don't overproduce it. Let's put it out there and see how it's received. And then we'll go from there. So here's an idea, an idea, an example I just thought of now is, uh, let's say the dying days of USWA and Flex Cavana, The Rock, is about to be called yeah. away. They've got two days worth of notice and it's like necessity is the mother of invention. He came And Jerry Lawler came up with a great idea to get him out of the territory in one day, essentially. And is WWE just the complete opposite? They've got all the wrestlers in the world that they need, all the creative minds in the world, and there's just no sort of impetus to think of something for somebody all the time well first even even if you did think of something a good thing it would have to go in front of vince back in those days and vince was seeing nothing vince has basically seen nothing except the end of a check for the last four years five years and if he doesn't see it it doesn't go that's why I'm saying we're going to see a we're going to see a difference because now Triple H is the lens. Now he's seeing it through his lens, and his lens is a lot clearer and more current than what Vince's was. So as far as Jerry Lauder determining why we don't see Flex Cavana for the next couple of weeks. He just invented it over on, I swear to God, it was his first thought that came to his head. Well, we just do this, bam, he's gone. That's the reason. Because that's the way reasons happen. Well, he had a death in the family. Okay. Everybody can accept that. Easy. You don't have to worry about it. He's gone. Will he be back? Maybe. Who knows? 